again. <laughs> but, you know, a very happy home yeah. and a very interesting home and lots of different sort of pieces of china, antiques and... Well, not a lot of antiques in those days because there were a lot of money, but... Now, you were very young when you and John married. We were a young age and mm. we weren't mature enough to appreciate, but it was a fascinating time. I wouldn't change it for anything in the world. Now, a lot of the time in those early days, you were left at home because you had your son, Julian, who you mm. were mentioning earlier. Um, and so, presumably, would John bring you presents back from tours or what, that you hadn't managed to get on? Yes, well, the first... In fact, I haven't brought them here now, but the first thing that he did do is uh, Harrods were open for them one Christmas and he came home with all sorts of naughty nighties and, <laughs> and all sorts of fun fairs and God knows what. Anyway, that, that, was, that was the That's fun nice. side of, yes. of John, which I've never worn, but I've, I've kept. Yes. And, uh, but this particular box was on his first Japanese tour. Yes. And he brought this home for, for me and the house. Mm. Now, some of the tours you did actually go on later on. Yes. Um, we've got some pictures here, in fact, of the American tour this was. Now, this... you would tell me this is you, with dark hair. Well, yes. Well, I, I don't know why I did it, because I, I was crazy to think that I could disguise myself, because we were, <laughs> we were on a train from Washington to New York after a, the tour, the main tour had gone on. And I put this wig on, and we were ensconced with hundreds of photographers, and I was sitting next to John and the rest of them. So I suffered this terribly hot wig, you know, mm. trying to be sort of Greta Garbo. Yes, With this right. awful black wig on. <laughs> and then you, you also went on the tour to India. That must have been quite an experience. Well, that was a wonderful experience. That was an escape to India, let's put it that way, not yes. a tour. Yes. I mean, we all well, went yes. there to, to sort of find ourselves and get away from the pressures of the music business. Mm. And just one final question. Now, you, you obviously have a, a business life of your own. You're designing fabrics and so on. Mm -hmm. You've been married twice since, John, and yet you still keep, keep his name. Why is that? Yes, I do, because um, in many ways... Uh, the name has used me in the past, yes. in many ways, and I've had a lot of sadness through the name. Uh, I enjoyed the name. I've always been called Cynthia Lennon. But when I took it back again, and I had it changed by deed poll, Julian was the first to say, oh, great, Mum. I mean, mm. it's really lovely, because now it means that we're a family again. Mm. We both have the same name. We both belong together again, mm. because of all the things that have happened in between. So that, to me, sort of means everything. It doesn't really matter what's in a name anyway. What a sensible lady. She's obviously now in charge of her life. So, Russell Grant, is there a master plan? Oh, stars? no, it's free will. Um, basically, in astrology, there is a, is, an, is a guide, a sort mm. of a celestial...